Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle level 5851 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 20 moves to collect 35 licorice, 55 fish, and clear out 75 of these crystal candies. That's going to be tough. I see that we've got a dispenser here with licorice striped and wrapped, so that'll be important to us. And I see that we can make a stripe here. It's hard to see sometimes what's under here. I'm actually wearing my reading glasses to help me out with this. I know that I need to try to make striped wrapped combos that can hit this area over and over. Any specials, but striped wrapped have a particularly good chance of helping us out. And then I see that all of these portals here are going to shift things incredibly. So that's going to be tough to deal with, but important to deal with. Now the other thing is with these licorice, I do need to collect a lot of licorice, but the licorice are blockers. They get in my way. So what I also want to do is try taking some out every so often so that I can get something other than licorice coming in from this dispenser here. It's so hard to even see where the stripes and wraps are landing. But I'll keep taking out the licorice in order to allow myself to get some of those here. There, there's a wrapped candy. How can I pair that up with something? Not quite yet, but maybe if I bring it through, I'll be able to, no, well, at least it's blowing up some of these crystals. The more the crystals are out of the way, the easier it is to see things and to do things. So there's a stripe, there's a stripe, if I can get some stripes with some wraps, nope, just a whole bunch of stripes being set off. So that's just a little bit of the fish here. We're just getting a few fish. Ooh, what can I do with all that? There's a lot of purple there. There's this, but I, I don't see a way to connect this well. I'm going to do this and try to put the blue together. That didn't work as I had hoped. I've got this purple here. I would love to try to get it to match over with this. That wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be the best. It's not hitting this very much, but it might help a little bit and it would help with these crystals. Yikes. I don't know that that is the best opportunity. What if I can, oh, wow. Because the portals run, it's hard to figure out the best way to approach this. But the more I play, win or lose, the better I'll get at this. Now look at all of those licorice that have streamed in. Obviously, more than enough. More than what we need. So I want to try to take one out each turn. Unfortunately, I can't. So let's do this and work on what we can get to. It has flooded this area. Well, now I know better for next time. Let's go ahead and take out all green from the board. This will concentrate the colors. It'll also help me to, to break through this area. It's definitely the fish that we weren't able to take care of. So I said that I need to make striped wrapped combos. I was not successful at that. I think what I need to do next time round is concentrate more on what this gives me whether it's the licorice that I need to remove on a regular basis or the stripes and wraps that I can try to put together. That's where my focus needs to be so I can get the fish. If I can get the bobbers activated and get the fish from there, they can help to take out all of these other things that I need to have removed. It's not going to be easy, but at least I understand now my focus here. Oops, there goes all of that. Let's see. At least we will have gotten all of our licorice and almost all of these guys. Um, maybe all of them if I can get some fish to, to generate and help me out. Prove that the fish can be helpful here. One of the problems with this, or the stripes and wraps, one of the problems is the portals change the board so drastically it's hard to make setups here. So this is what my strategy is going to be going forward. I am going to still work on trying to make those striped wrapped combos, but uh, potentially in a different way. I think what I'm going to try to do is keep the board clear of the licorice and try to make moves down here so everything cascades. And in that cascading process, hopefully we will get 
some really good opportunities here because obviously trying to set them up on our own is not going to be extremely helpful. Oh, so close to being able to get something there. We got a little bit, but not a combo. Things matched up. That's, that is what's going to happen. So we need a bit of luck so that uh, things fall together in, in the right way instead of exploding when we don't want them to explode. Now that we're clear of things here, the cascading is just endless. If it takes out purple, we'll get a little bit of a hit, maybe, although that might fall down too far. Well, who knows what happened there. Wrapped, wrapped combos can also be helpful if they're in the right spot, but they have to be close enough to the bobbers. So right here where they can hit a couple of times is probably the best opportunity. We'll just see how close we get or how far away we are, however you want to look at that, and then see if we can just improve upon that over and over until we eventually get this done. Like I said, every time we play, win or lose, hopefully we're learning something. Wow. I'm just going to wait for the solitaire to end. I keep seeing things that might work and then, you know, it, it keeps going and therefore the opportunity disappears. What I saw just a moment ago no longer exists, so it's pointless to get my hopes up on it. Even, even this blue here, it was up here and I was thinking, well, maybe it'll take off while it's by this bobber. Nope, it didn't. Although I am making a lot more progress now that the crystals are gone just by allowing things to cascade. So getting those crystals cleared out quickly is, is probably the, the best option. And that's when we can see the most effort that the, the board will give us on its own without us really intervening too much. might get this. Okay, so now we've got something that's handy. Not all of these will go horizontally or vertically or whichever way we want them to go, but certainly better than what we have seen in the past. Unfortunately, it brought in all of those licorice, but those types of things are unavoidable. So I'll make a stripe and take things out. And that's as well as we could do here. 16 fish left. So let me go ahead and pause the recording. I'll be back here with a new board and we'll try to attack this more carefully and be more cautious about the licorice. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but we can try to, to monitor that and do the best we can. Be right back. Okay, so I'm going to make a stripe. I'm also inviting licorice to come in, but I'm also taking out some licorice, which is good. I'm not letting it get too far over to the center or the right hand side if I can stop it although in the beginning I'm not as worried because I will cycle through quite a few turns probably uh, in getting this done ooh moving that stripe over more trying to keep it to the right to the left hand side is better if I can manage it but now it comes over to the right all the time anyway still taking out some of these licorice Although I will run out of licorice soon and then I'll start that cycle over where more licorice comes in. But I'm hoping to clear out a lot while I'm in this part of the phase. Ooh, there we go. Got a lot of stuff going. A lot of this crystal candy being taken out, a few of the bobbers being hit. I'm not paying attention to the fact that I've got some fun things on the board because they're not likely to stick around. Too volatile at this point. Okay, but we took out a color, presumably orange since I don't see a lot of orange on the board. So that gives me another opportunity to make more things. And this is the point where I would have loved to have seen more cascading happen. So usually there's a one or a two turn delay usually a one turn delay. So I may not get any licorice coming yet, but on the next turn I will. 
So here's where we're going to start that cycle again. More licorice shows up, but I've got a wrapped candy to help try to combat that. There we go, we're taking some out. We'll probably get some reshuffles, or we might anyway. All right, now I can take out some licorice, clear this out again, start that cycle over, and try to get more stripes, especially combos, back up on this board. That's what we're looking for. And the striped drift combo that hits here, where I can make use of it horizontally and vertically, would be best of all. Color bomb, color bomb combo would be amazing. Color bomb stripe combo would usually be pretty helpful if we've got enough of that striped color on the board. All right. In talking so much, I kind of have, I kind of have lost track as to whether I'm on the delay or not. I was on the delay and now I'm going to get more licorice coming out but look at how much I'm going to be able to hit here before the licorice shows up. So that's the kind of thing I need to have happen. Even if it's not right in the center, even if it's down here, if I can hit enough of these it really does a nice job. Now I've got licorice on the board, that means I've got licorice I can remove so I can start that cycle over. There we go. Things are going to blow up. That's okay. Oh, look at that. So if I do this, I'm not taking out licorice, but I could possibly get this down here, right? I, I think that might work. Oh, it did. So this is going to hit everything and this is going to be beautiful. There we go. Got it done. All right. Well, and that was only my 19th playthrough for recording purposes, which some of them I got pretty close on. Usually I was getting close, but some of them I was pretty far away on. So um, it is a lot is dependent upon the luck that you get as you're cycling through here. But like I said, it is a cyclical thing. So the more you become accustomed to that, the more you can try to take advantage when you've got the board sitting up, setting up the situation where you don't have licorice on the board and you can keep getting that uh, cascading. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.